resist every blindness in the spirit. Ah, shata da da do, isama kakakaya, samalia supaya, ventalina asia, pampano asupaya. This ear is our ear of a divine establishment, a divine expression. We are supposed to become the same way that we were. Ah, kopa akapa, sama akapa, papa mia supasiata. Vinchalima asipia makopo sataya every hidden asa in our life every badness in our life let be disappear oh salantaya we speak the blood of Jesus let the blood of Jesus speak upon our life speak upon ah I'm realizing yeah shaka papa zoma anturia kaya imasia kapaya. Loposa Rakapas Satapalia Satapa Vinchavina Siba Kapalia Rokosia Kataya Zigidigidigidi Rapapapans Apan in Tamalina Assembia Antoli is Satai Zamali Katos Rokoposia Kataya Zamakumba in Sapa Ishataba Ziga Katata do Sata Zia ta 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 do sapa za na 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 ra ko ko tolia pa ria ko osa ata ina samanta mita no ana ima kata da tuza ro ko ko tosia ramakos ima na laisha imbandis kapalia ta ya riso palata ya ra ko zia na lima intamina antrigedansha ra ko ko zia kata ya zo pavandia zo malik Gatayanto, zama kapalia toza, makopo osia, ribasi ataya. Yena laba hantola, rapa osa niya katoza, ruakongza gabakanga, masa bavalia tayasa, metalia asopakato, zopali no osandali makoma, rapa papando oshato, ruakongza makambataya. In Nasiya Kataya, in the mighty name of Jesus. Manta Kaze, Father, we worship you, Father. We declare that there is none like you, O God. You alone are worthy of our worship. You alone are worthy of our worship, O God. That Father, you are the King, O God, in our lives, O God. That you reign in our lives, O God. Reke, deke, ze, deke, bantayaze. We worship you today, O oh God. We worship you, O oh God. That Father, a generation is being risen, O oh God. A generation is rising up in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and worship you, for He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. Oh. That Father, you are Yahweh, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, so God. That as we begin this service, this this going Father to be to make a pace for the year, oh God. That Father, this year we are going to transit to a to a higher level, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus.
I love you forever, Lord. Ha ha. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you hey, forever. I love you forever, Lord. Sing, I love you. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord, sing, I love you. I love you forever. Hey, I love you forever. Father, we love you. Shake a rada gaboze. That we love because you first love us. Shake a rada gaboze. Shake a rada gaboze. Shake a rada gaboze. That we have seen you love us. That we have experienced of your love. Shake a rada gaboze. Shake a rada gaboze. That we stand for because your love has grounded us. I love you forever. Hey, I love you forever. I love you forever. Oh, I love you. Amazing, 
Open your mouth and pray to God. Worship Him tonight. Pray. Pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there be found a man to pray, there is a God to answer. The Bible commands us to pray without ceasing. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Rekete rebe shete ni prekata ya. Rekete shete ni ana. Lord, we are worthy of our worship. We are worthy of our praise. Our lives depend on you. We depend on you, Father. We depend on you, O King of Kings. Rekete rebe prekete ya. Rekete prekete ya. As you pray tonight, may God release something in your life that money cannot be able to buy, that money cannot purchase, that money cannot buy, that money cannot purchase. Release the sound of prayer. Release the sound of prayer tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is a God to answer. If there be found a man to tarry in prayer, there is a God to answer. We serve a God that hearkens to the prayers of his people. Oh, 
And even as we pray tonight, we believe without a shadow of a doubt that our lives are receiving a permanent transformation. That our lives are receiving a permanent transformation. Thank you, Father, for gathering us here again. Thank you for bringing us again into your house. And we believe without a shadow of a doubt that you have never gathered men in vain. You have never gathered men in vain. The Bible says that he, he never gathered the house of Jacob in vain. And even tonight, it shall not be otherwise. It shall not be otherwise. In the name of Jesus. Your hands above your heads and celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I bless the Lord for gathering us here tonight and uh, today being our first fellowship this year. I can guarantee you, your life is not going to remain the same. Bonus if you will. Hallelujah. I do miss them. You know, you guys, many, many precious Anna, you never, you thought that I was the reason why we were not gathering for the army rising, but uh, that was not the case. But uh, now that we have gathered here again, all praise and glory unto God. Hallelujah. What was happening was beyond me, and I told you people to come to their prayers, and I saw some of you, I saw Kina John, I saw Simon, Ventura Tundo Sikuona kwa prayer and fasting. You are here? Wow, I didn't see you. Maybe on that day you came, I was not here. There are times I miss, I think, three, four times. Or maybe you, oh, I saw you, I've remembered. Yeah, so it was uh, good to have you. So the only person that never came for prayers is Ivy. The prayers and fasting. You're the only person who didn't come. Is it? And even in December, before we finish the fellowship, why are you coming? So let us put our hands together for this amazing team for a job perfectly done. God bless you so much. And uh, may his grace upon your life continually increase. Bona si fiwe. So before I continue, come here. Come and say hi and tell us where you've been in the name of Jesus. Come, I will. Praise God. Praise God again. Simon. Mm. I've been around. Mm. Okay. I didn't appear physically. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Let us put our hands together for her. For the people that are so much behind, let us occupy these seats. Let us occupy the seats. If there is a seat in front of you, make sure you occupy it as we hear the word of God tonight. Amen. Buona sifiwe. We can have our seats in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I'd like to bring us a message that is titled, The Power of Concentration. The Power of Concentration. As we were finishing the year last year, I was in a moment of prayer and I was really asking God, what are you saying? I really wanted to capture the voice of God. And uh, I was just hearing a, 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 a voice, concentration, concentration. I couldn't understand at the moment. But now as we began the year, it became so loud in my spirit. And uh, one of the things that is going to happen to us this year is that uh, we shall live a concentrated life. 
Turn to your neighbor and tell him, oh, you must live a consecrated life. You must live a consecrated life. Buona sefiwe. So, I would like to bring us a message that is titled, The Power of Consecration. The Power of Consecration. And I'll begin by defining for us what is consecration. So, consecration is separating yourself for the purposes of God. Consecration is separating yourself, is separating your life intentionally. Not just separating, but intentionally separating yourself for the purposes of God. And I would like all of us to understand that any man that ever walked with God into deeper dimensions was a consecrated man. Hallelujah. Bona sifiwe. So, consecration is separating yourself intentionally for the purposes of Zion, for the purposes of God. And let me submit to us tonight that all the moves of God are conditional. All the moves of God are conditional. Bonus if you will. When God decides to move, he moves under conditions. Somebody say amen. He will move under conditions. And the condition is consecration. There is no time a generation will ever experience the move of God mightily if they have not consecrated themselves. Hallelujah. In a person's life, there is no way you will ever experience the moves of God in your life mightily when you are not consecrated. Hallelujah. When you have not separated yourself for the purposes of God. Hallelujah. And we have said that the separation is an intentional separation. It is where you get as a person and say that I'm going to separate myself. Not for so many agendas, not for so many things, but for the agenda of God. Hallelujah. And uh, if a generation shall experience the power of God mightily, then it shall be under, it shall be when they will have se consecrated themselves. Anytime a person consecrates himself, he, he, he qualifies to carry the manifold power of God. Hallelujah. A consecrated man is a man that qualifies for the power of God. So we are here praying to God and telling God, oh God, we need your power in our days. We need to see your power. We need to see your glory. But God is under in consecration because God is not limited to power. And God is not jealous of his power. Hallelujah. Because God wants us to do mighty things. Hallelujah. And minus the power of God, we cannot be able to function in power. Hallelujah. But I pray to God, as we are beginning the year 2024, we will purpose and be intentional on this thing about consecration. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. So power and glory in the lives of men is as a result of a consecrated life. So for us to be able to see power in our days, we must live a consecrated life. We must separate ourselves. Hallelujah. I heard one man say that we must get to a place where we will leave the crowd. You know the crowd? And pursue the cloud. You know the cloud? You know the difference? <laughs> and I know all, all of us here, most of us here are kiku. So, when I say cloud, I say my cloud, I say cloud, I say my cloud, I say cloud, the other one. I'm saying, there, we must get to a place where we will leave the crowd, the people, and pursue the cloud. Are we together? Ivy, Rojo, when you're sapping, Unashika, Tunatoka kwa kirende, Tunafuata the cloud. Are we together? Because the Bible says that when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, what was leading them during the day and during the night? There was a pillar of fire and there was a cloud that was guiding them. Hallelujah. So, we must be intentional about leaving the crowd and pursuing the cloud. I'm very careful not to say otherwise. Buona <laughs> sefiwe. 
You know, let me tell us that uh, the key that unlocks blessings in the lives of men is power. Do you know that? The key that unlocks blessings in the lives of men is power. And power, as I've said, is a product of concentration. Hallelujah. And something else. You can never separate God and his power and glory. You will never separate God. And anytime God appears, glory appears. Are we together? Anytime God appears, what shows you can ask the children of Israel. One day, <laughs> they want to meet God. And God comes. And the way God came, eh? they were just praying. They, 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 God had told them to prepare because he's coming to meet with them. No more. Because of the glory, they could not be able to handle it. Are we together? So, power unlocks blessings in the lives of men. What do I mean by that? There are four kinds of power, five kinds of power. Number one power is the academic power. Academic is a power. It is a power. There is a place, John, with your certificates and me without my certificates, we can stand and you will be allowed to enter and I'll be left outside. Are we together? Okay, we say that grace and the anointing breaks protocols. But before it breaks, I will have been left outside. Are we together? And even if I'm allowed inside, maybe I will not be qualified for that. For instance, I go and apply for a job of being a doctor. And I say that grace will break the protocol. And it breaks the protocol and I become a doctor. And I'm not learned. How will I treat people? Are we together? Academics is a power. There is a time a friend of mine came to me. This friend of mine really loves God. But masomo haiko inaingia at all. At all, at all. Haiko inaingia vizuri. So he came and was telling me that I think I should just take a course. Ni na high school. Ni toke inje ni tafte two course ni fanye. And uh, in fact, there is still another one. Mwingine sasa na he really loves he really loved God so much. So, so this guy was uh, was like um, academics has ingi, lakini neno inaingia. So I can become a who say that pastors are supposed to be the unlearned people? Eh? <laughs> are we together? But I was like. It's okay. You have the anointing, you have the grace, and you feel that you carry it. But there is a place you will go, and we require that, 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 this education. Okay, it might not be entering the way it's supposed to enter, and the way that it, it, uh, and in a way that is really honoring God. You know, there is a way, it is, a way it is not honoring God at all. You see, but I told the guy that uh, one day, even if you become a pastor, You'll find yourself sitting maybe with a, you know, you, you will be limiting yourself because there are people you will never have a conversation with. Are we together? You know, like for instance, uh, right now, right now, how does Joka Jok, Jok Omolo, and Jack Owini, see Jack, ni jo, ni Jok, jo, Jok Owino, Jok Owini. Eh? Okay, according to me, they are not helping me at all. Are we together? And it is true. How will Joka Jok and Jok Jokowino help me pay my rent? Yes, I knew there was Joka Jok and Joka that. You see? And I can't even remember who they were ama what they were. I don't remember zilikuwa nini. But na joku likuwa naizo nini? Ma Jok Joks. You see? I know there was titration. You see? Right now there is no place I'm titrating. Is it? But by me learning that thing, there is something that just opened in my mind. Let me tell you. For instance, okay, mm -hmm. how do I put it? How do I put it? Those things, when you are in school, whatever you are studying might not be the one that will help you in the future. But there are skills you will gain as you learn. Are we together? Like now, for instance, me, there is no place I've ever used my certificates. Nowhere. But now that, that, that it, it doesn't mean that the time I spent in school was useless. Because if I never went to that school, I would not be preaching to you like I am right now. 
Ningekuwa nakuja na wapea story zangu vizuri za za huko Geshaki venye kunaendelea, alafu tunamaliza na tunaenda home. Si ndio? But now because of being in school, I learned about researching, I learned about putting my notes in order. I learned about how to relate with people. I met friends like Dongo. How we together? We served in sea with Dongo. I got born again in school, you see? And there are so many things, you see? And so those, those things, they come and help us in the, in, in the future. For instance, I give another guy an example. Nika mwambia kaniambia pia ilikuwa na shutumbuliwa na masomo. Nika uonyesha barua zingine nilikuwa ninaandika. Nika uzesa ni waulize. Kama singe soma ni seme, ninasikia nika niko na calling ya God sita soma. Hii barua nani yenge niandikia? Are we together? So academia is a power. Are we together? There is a door that academia can open for you. That even grace, even if it opens, you will be still somewhere because you don't have the knowledge. In the school that I went in primary school, the motto was, knowledge is power. Dongo can relate. <laughs> Are we together? So academics is a power. Academia is a power. It is a power. Are we together? Can you give us the book of... Uh, can you give us the book of... Uh, uh, Zechariah chapter number 4 and verse number 6 so that I lay a certain foundation so that you will understand where I'm going with these powers. Zechariah 4 and verse number 6. It's not coming. Oh God. We must be intentional in our concentration. Zechariah chapter number 4 and verse number 6. The Bible says that it is not by power might. Okay. So he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, nor by power. But by my spirit, says the Almighty God. Says the Lord Almighty. So, oh, oh, breaking this down, might is the physical power. It is the physical, it, it, is, it is what you can be able to do physically. It is what you can be able to do with your own hands. It is what you can be able to do with your own mind. That is the, that, that, that all, it, 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 uh, it narrows down to the place of being mighty. Are we together? And now for the power, these are the ones that I'm giving to us. One is the academic's power. And then there is number two, it is the economic power. Economic power. Economic power entails money. And of course, when we are talking about money, we need to understand that money follows vision. And uh, the Bible says that a poor man is uh, even despised by his neighbors. He's hated by the neighbors. The scripture, that is the scripture, don't know. A poor man is hated by the neighbors. So that is to tell you that uh, uh, money is powerful. They say that money is evil, but money is power. A man that has money even has warmth. Direct translation. And uh, when we talk about money, we also need to understand that even the scripture says that uh, a poor man's wisdom <laughs> is despised. No matter how wise you are and you are poor, you will still be despised because there is a power you are missing. There is a power that money gives men. Are we together? The Bible says that money answereth to all things. And our bishop says, so if there is a question that you have that is unanswered, it's because you don't have money. <laughs> Economic power. Economic power. But understand, money follows vision. And money, economic power differs with the, with the magnitude of a vision. The size of your vision will dictate your aggressiveness towards finances. The size of what you want to achieve, the magnitude of what you want to achieve, is the one that will determine how aggressive you will be when looking for money. Bwana sifiwe. Like, uh, tulikuwa tunafanya maesabu zingine hapa na kina Steve K. Tunonandiyo tuweze kumaliza kufanya projects zoze nye tunataka kufanya this year as I'm rising. 
We need not, we don't need, we, we require more than a hundred thousand. And that question we are having it because we don't have money. Because if we had money, we'll not even be having the conversation of how to raise the money. To get to a two pesa to make a project. Are we together? Power. Power. And this one is still narrowing down to concentration. Remember, concentration gives men power. Are we together? The that power, or even before I go to the that power, when God gives you, okay, uh -huh. <laughs> anointing without money is annoying. That one has noted it. Oh God. No matter how much you are anointed and you don't have money, that anointing becomes very annoying. Very annoying. <laughs> oh God. Then number three, we have social power. Social power is the one that we still call social capital. And uh, the social power is still the one that we call popularity. Your name is very important. The name of a person is very important. There is a place you can enter because of your name. There are doors that will open in the life of a person because of his name, because of his social power. Are we together? What makes men, what makes some people to become, to be elected in positions politically? It's because of your, their social power sometimes. Sometimes it's because of their money, economic power. Sometimes it's because of their academics. But God is gracious. Our Jesus. Zakayo ni nani? Ata si Jesus. Zakayo si mwenye lishu kamti. Alipanda mti. Alipanda mti akambia... Huh? Miss Jim wengine. Are we together? <laughs> so, social power is built by good reputation. Social power is built by good reputation. And as I have said, the greatest asset in the life of a person is his name. It's his name. It's his name. The Bible says that a good name is better than a sweet perfume. Are we together? Manzi tengeneza njina. Kula, kuna time tulikona inanga place. Tukikula. Nuna jamana kula. Anasema, ah. Eh? Tulikona sema ni? Jenga mwili jina walisha haribu. Isindio? Ati jina ili haribikanga kitambu. No, no, no. We must change that language. Na kama ili haribika lazima tutengene. Because we have seen that a social power is very important. Very important. Very important. How you relate with people is very important. How you relate with people is very important. Very, very important. There is a place you will enter just because you know someone. And there is a place you will enter because someone knows you. And when we talk about social power, you know, when you know someone... And when someone knows you, there is a difference. When you know someone, that person might refuse to give you access. But when the person knows you, then he can give you the access. So it is not about the other person, it's about you. How does they know you? It's not about how you know people. It's not about how you know the MCA. It's about how the MCA knows you. Are we together? It's not about how you know bishop. It's about how bishop knows you. Are we together? Social power. Very, very important. Are we together? Somebody say amen. A good name can open doors for you. And a person of good report is a person that can go far in life. A person who, with a good report, a person who carries a good report, is a person that can go very far in life. Very far in life. Very far. They say, Mwana weki ya gadagaga mudu wako mudhabia. Wherever. Are we together? Is someone understanding? Let us build our names. Let us have good social capital. Good social capital. Then number four, we have a power that is called political 
power. Political power. You know politics is all about power. You know that? Have you seen the diehards of Baba? Mnawananga TikTok. Those men, no matter what you do to them, they will see, still say Baba Nyeye. Are we together? Because of the political power that Baba has. In 20, when did he do the elections? Was it last year or last year, Baton? It was 2022. During that time, the women of Kiambu, kama hunge wambia siyo Kenya kwanza, wange shikana wote, ile vita ungeona, because of the politi political power of the president of Kenya right now. Are we together? And uh, when you talk about political power, sometimes you don't need to be a politician for you to carry the political power. Do you know there are businesses in Kenya you cannot be able to do them unless you are politically connected? Are you aware? There are businesses you will never do in Kenya unless you are politically connected. Unless you know a person in the government. <laughs> Haven't you seen? <laughs> How do I say this and you are online? Haven't you seen that uh, you can find a person, he, he or she is doing business very well, and then wapita na kidogo even a gava. Ndi unasikianga mambu imianza kulipuka. Unashanga akoni hawaku wana joyu jamaa halipangi keyare. The reason unapatati ya kona keyare denia zijui billion ingapi. But before then, nobody was talking. Do you know why? Political power. But that one marries with social power in a way. Are we together? So, here God is saying, so he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, because might fails, your strength fails. It is not by power. Sometimes the academic power will fail. Sometimes the political power will fail. Sometimes the social and the economical power will fail. Are we together? Those are the four powers. But uh, the Bible says, but by my spirit, says the Lord. When uh, this scripture was being written, it was during a time that uh, a king by the name of, uh, was it Nebuchadnezzar? Did I note it? Oh God. It was during a time, a king called, uh, the, the, the Israelites were returning from captivity. And uh, before their captivity, Nebuchadnezzar had destroyed everything. He had burnt everything in the city. There was nothing in the city. So they are coming back and they are finding that everything is in ruins. So God is speaking to Zerubbabel and he's telling, he's telling Zerubbabel that it is not by might that the city will be able to be rebuilt again. But it is by my spirit. It is not by might. It is not by power. But it is by my spirit. So the last power is the spiritual power. Turn to your neighbor and tell him or her that it is the spiritual power. And this is the power that God gives men. This is the power that God gives men when they live a consecrated life. I have said that in the kingdom of God, consecration is a law. If power and the glory of God will be manifested, the spiritual power. Can we read the word of God in the book of Hebrews chapter number 7 and verse number 17? Or before then, can we read Hosea chapter number 4 and verse number 6? So that I take as in a, in a way that uh, we will understand all of us. How is time? Okay. For it is declared, okay, my, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. This was, uh, I was supposed to give it to us when we are doing the, the, the academic power. But because you have rejected, rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. And when you're talking about priesthood, you need to understand that uh, a priest is not just a person that will come to church and he has a collar, na amevaile robe, na ndia naikelea watu mikono. Are we together? Because the word of God in the scripture now, Hebrews 7, 17, the Bible says that we have been called to be priests according to the order of Melchizedek, 
Can we read that? Hebrews 7.17 now. For it is declared you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Do you know who Melchizedek was? Melchizedek was a king of a place called Salem. And uh, I've heard some people, some theologians say that uh, Melchizedek was the image of Christ. Melchizedek was a represent was like a, the, the, he, he, he had come in the image of Christ because a one he was a, a king and a priest at the same time. He was not just a priest, he was not just a king. He was both a king and a priest. And then you can see he was a king of a place called Salem. Salem means peace. So he was a king of peace. And Jesus came as the prince of, and Jesus was the king and the priest. Have you understood? Melchizedek is a king and a priest at the same time. And then Jesus is coming as a king and a priest at the same time. You see? And then Melchizedek was a king of a place called Salem. And Salem means peace. Are we together? And then Jesus is coming as, as the prince of so they say that he was the image of Christ in the book of Genesis. Because uh, the first time we encountered uh, the Melchizedek, the first time I encountered the name Melchizedek was in the book of Genesis. When, uh, when uh, Abraham was going to rescue Lord after he had been captured. If you have read your Bible. But that, that, that's not the direction I want us to take. So you are a king and a priest. Are we together? And uh, maybe in the next session, this, this, this teaching, I'm going to take it for around uh, maybe minimum five sessions. If God helps us, I'll teach on the power of concentration for the next like uh, maybe five sessions. Are we together? So be ready for this. Because I'm going to also uh, teach us on the urgency of uh, concentration, the urgency of, um, the urgency of priesthood, understanding priesthood, things that a priest is supposed to understand. Because one of the things that a priest is supposed to understand is that everyone, okay, just because you have been called does not mean that you are chosen. Are we together? There are people who are chosen but they had not been called. You know, I, you know, I'm a person that has come to love history so much. And I was studying people like uh, Rehan Bonke. Rehan Bonke is saying himself that God spoke to him and told him, you are not my choice. But because of the urgency that I had in Africa, I had to choose you because of your concentration. So sometimes you might not be called, but you can be chosen. Even Elisha. Elisha was doing well in farming if you do your study. Doing very well. Bishop has taught us that this guy had huge lands of land. He had animals. He was doing large-scale farming. So he was a billionaire. And his life was settled. So that guy was not called of God into the priesthood. But out of his concentration and deciding to follow a man of God and serving him, he tapped it. He tapped the anointing. Are we together? I'm going to teach, the, teach that one broad, broadly. Let me not go that way so that I don't confuse you right now. Revelation chapter number 1 and verse number 5 to verse number 6 also talks about a priest and a king. Revelation chapter number 1 and verse number 5. And from Jesus Christ, we can begin from verse number 4. It's okay, sorry. Verse number 4. Ama tuanza tu hapa. Verse 4 of the same scripture. John to the seven churches in the province of Asia grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne verse number five and from jesus christ who is the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth continue oh to him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood continue and has made us to be a kingdom and priest can we read in uh NKJV, this is NIV, New King James, 
and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. So God has made us to be kings and priests. But uh, the rank of a king and a priest is determined by his level of concentration. Because priests and kings are not in the same rank. Are we together? They say that what ni vidole hawafanyi nini? Hawatoshani. Even in the spiritual realm, priests in the spiritual realm, they are levels and they are ranks. Has he it Oshana? Because the level of concentration is also differing. There is a person that has gone an extra mile in concentration. There is a person that has separated himself more. Are we together? Somebody say amen. A person's rank is determined by the level of his concentration. Do you know how much it is powerful? For a man to walk in concentration. Do you know how much God can entrust to a man that has concentrated his life? The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter number 3 from verse number 1. That there was a man that is coming from the wilderness. Ameva Ngozi. And he is eating locust and honey. And he is crying and he is and he's preaching saying. Behold the voice in the wilderness. Christ, prepare the way for the Lord. Do you know how much it is powerful for a man to baptize God? Do you know how much it is powerful? For a man, the Bible says that even himself, John, he knew that the man that is coming after me, leave alone baptizing him, and tying his laces, I cannot. But his concentration had helped him to become, to, 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 uh, to, to, to attain a certain posture, to attain a certain rank in the spirit that he could baptize God. Are you together? Matthew chapter number 3, from verse number 1. A man that, is, that has concentrated his life is a very powerful man. Very powerful. Very powerful. We must get to a place where we'll stop praying, oh God. You know, let me tell you. Me, I purpose this year. This year. And then I have a crazy friend. <laughs> you know, we all know Paul Moses. You know, Paul Moses, is a, uh, Paul Moses has become a brother of mine. Though you have not talked for a while. But uh, that guy, there is a time we were having a conversation with him. And we were like, him waka 2024. Ataviwete watatembea. And we are in, all we need is concentration and we will be qualified to carry the power. Kwanza Paul Moses is crazier. He is telling me, kuna muguruki ni naonanga hapo kwetu, ata sikuizi ni kipita kuna vanya ni namuangalea na mfanya, shaka, tabakata, zaka, rapa, shata. You see, to see, to test the waters. Are we together? Are we together? And one thing that I can guarantee him, nikoni miyana kama likuwa online, wewe, siku moja, huya mutu, atapona. Concentration. Because when you concentrate your life, you become a carrier of the power of God. Are we together? There is a woman called to him Maria Wat Eta. He is also one of the generals in the, in the generals of faith, in this book of generals of faith. That woman, hey, concentrated life. Bonus if you. Catherine Kuhlman, manga, that God has spoken to her and has told her not once, you are not the one I had chosen. Not chosen, but called. And you are not even my choice. But because of lack of concentration of the people that I had called, and the reason of the urgency of the time. I had to work with you. Because sometimes God works with the available. Are we together? Because he will never compromise his standards. He will never compromise his, uh, his conditions on releasing power on men. Mimi, 
One of these days. Mimi hata kuna siku last year nilikuwa nimeanza kuambia watu kawa na juanga mahali kuna kuanga na kipofu. Na hiyo hiyo time, hiyo time. Ah hiyo angeona wazee. <laughs> Aki ya nani? I'm serious. I'm serious. Hata sasa hii. Ni wenye sijui nani yako na nani anataka tumuombe sasa hii. Who is sick? You know the Bible said that and you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall get you are not the one to heal them. How are we together? There is a lot of power that falls upon men when they concentrate their lives. Are we together? So, kama kuna mtu unajua anahitaji kuwekelewa mikono, mnitafute. As I've said, that concentration requires intentionality and commitment and you must be deliberate on be on concentrating your life and uh, when it comes to the to the when you are talking about concentration you need to understand that there is a lot of discipline that needs to be put in are we together there is a lot of discipline that needs to be applied concentration demands purity demands righteousness demands holiness bona sifiwe and as we said Concentration entails ab- abandoning the crowd to pursue the glory. And uh, I'll finish the first session on the power of concentration with this one point. That uh, missing out on concentration is missing out on assignment. Because no matter how much you've been anointed, and you fail to concentrate your life you miss out we all know about samson this was a guy that would come and uproot the gates not not lift the gates sio kuja anainua gates not lifting the gates he would come and remove the gates from their foundations because the gates were had already been zilikozi shali miwa na zinaekwa kwa koto and everything that needs to be done anazingoa anaziekelea kwa mabega anakimbia na hiyo gate kwa nini on the top of the mountain there is a man that is seriously anointed how we together a man that will catch foxes anazifunga mikia how do you catch foxes and tie them on your on their tails mbili mbili unless you carry an anointing that are, that is not common but how did it fail how did he fail he failed on concentration samson never separated himself samson mahali kuna madem hunge mkosa samson mahali siju kuna nini uko tu mahali yoyote hunge mkosa are we together nada ni wenye mungu amesema asikue na wao yani he was very deliberate on doing the opposite of what god has said so if god says that a person that, a, that, that this, this this guy is not supposed to marry from the certain community he ensures he marries there when god says that a, this person is not supposed to eat this thing he eats that thing he was deliberate on doing the opposite a man like samson is not a person that was supposed to die the way he died but he died that way because of missing out on concentration are we together somebody say amen he failed in concentration and failing in concentration is failing in assignment inaweza kuwa hata huja assigniwa hiyo area but if you concentrate yourself because of the agency of the kingdom god partners with you are we together the bible says in the book of ezekiel 22:30 that i sought for a man and i found nobody are we together we are here crying oh god power 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 clothe me with power i quitted that prayer i quitted that prayer 
There's a time I prayed it and I realized it's not working. Born as if you. And I was even fasting. But you know what? God cannot entrust his power with a man that has not separated himself for God's purposes, for his purposes. Somebody say amen. Because even right now, there is an urgency of men. There is an urgency. Or do you think it's normal? Yesterday I was uh, watching the news and I saw a certain man. Now he killed the son. And I was like, oh my God. His own son. You see, we have all, all of us here are aware of what is happening in the Airbnbs. I saw Ivy, because the demo is a story of Airbnbs. I saw Ivy, because the story of Airbnbs is a story of Airbnbs. I saw Ivy, because the story of Airbnbs is a Are we together? That if you want to see Ivy, Wende umuone kwa. Are we together? Bonus if you. There is an urgency. There is an urgency. A serious urgency. And right now, God is going to work with the available. And being available is not, is not just showing up. Are we together? Being available is not just about showing up at your present. It's not just about being present. But how are you present? How you are present is mat is, is matters. It's not just about appearing that God I'm here. But how you are appearing that God I'm here is the one that matters. Is someone understanding? Are we together? Somebody say hallelujah. Lift up your hand and say, Father, my life shall be a consecrated life. A man that has purposed to consecrate his life can baptize God. If you read that the entire the entire chapter of Matthew chapter number three, you will discover the kind of power that J that John was operating in. It was a power that. Do you know who are the Pharisees? And he's calling them brood of vipers, and there is nothing they can do to him. It is because that man there is a kind of a power that he had possessed. How are we together? That nobody could touch him. He was, he was touching, you know, as he was saying, live wires. He was stepping on the live wires, and there is nothing that, that the live wires will do to him. Are we together? Reason being, consecration. Separating yourself for the purposes of God. Somebody say amen. It is not by might, neither by power. And you have seen the various kinds of powers, the worldly powers. But it is by the power that comes as a result of consecration. I think next time I will teach on the urgency of consecration. Still a part two of the power of consecration. But now a sub-talking topic the urgency of concentration. Because we need to understand how urgent the matter is. This matter is very urgent. Very urgent. Do you know, like, when you are going to Gasharage, we were at Gasharage two days ago. And uh, before then, myself, I had really fasted. When we broke for the fasting, I decided I'm not breaking. Because I need to concentrate myself more. That this generation, that God can place something in me. That God can place a power in me that a generation cannot ignore. Are we together? 
and Emmanuel can tell you Mungai can tell you they got born again over a hundred walija kwa altar wakakuja huku juu tulikuwa tunawaombea tukiwa kwa kona tunawaambia pigeni magoti sema bwana Yesu si bwana Yesu tukiwa kwa kona mahali na mwalimu mmoja a friend of mine who taught me mathematics are we together there is an urgency seeing over a hundred students are receiving crisis to tell you that there is a serious urgency and many to arise because Ezekiel 22:30 is still thundering even right now i sought for a man ventura there is a power that god can release upon your life that your lines zile lines unaachilianga zinatoka na anointing nyingine ijayoneka Are we together? Jonte, kuna concentration unaweza jiconcentrate and God grants you a certain kind of power that when you release a melody it is not just a song for our generation but it is a song for generations to come. There are songs we sing today that were sung in the 90s. Which is that song? It's not coming. It's not coming. There even did the research of the person who wrote it. It's a him. And he was a consecrated man, woman, not a man, woman. And that song even today, when we sing it, we cry. Because there is a power he obtained. She obtained that when she released that song, It did not it, it it did not just become a song but it became a generational sound that will not just heal that that, that did not just heal the generation of the year time but it is still healing people even today bonus if you consecrated men are generational men a consecrated man does not just serve his generation a consecrated man serves his generation and generations to come whoever he says there is a woman maria situa what eta i listened to there are no sermons because when she was living there was no, there was nothing like recording i read her books and i'm like oh my god smith we go so i read his book the other day and was like what kind of a man was this? Rehab Bonki. Look at people like Miles Munro. They are inspiring us even today and they are not living. And be assured that person is still going to inspire many years to come. We must see beyond our generation. There is an urgency. Make sure you come on Friday so that we understand the urgency of consecration. Let's be up standing in the presence of the Father. Sharaka da brevrigada. Zikozi brecheteria. Open your mouth and tell God that Father, help me to live a consecrated life. Shetebekete vrigada barante reske periana. Make sure you are speaking to God. We don't have time. We are almost finishing. We have two minutes and then we'll be out of this place. The light has uh, made us not to discover that time is gone. Ragadoskemperedebregedia. <laughs> parada. Receive the grace to live a consecrated life. Receive the grace to live a, a consecrated life. Receive the grace to to abandon the crowd and pursue the cloud. 
Rato zobre kete vri kantarani Regede beshete verede bede gedia Rato zoko toria parade Regede breshete vriana Rato za parina Regete ria parade Shede bede gede vri gante reske peria Razo kotoria parade Zegede breshe ketoria Zegede vri kantaria parade You are that man that God is seeking for Rashe ketoria parane Regede bezegede breshe tevrika Rozo kote bregedia Ezekete beshe tevrika Rozo kotoria You are the man that our generation is waiting for Receive the unction to function in your generation Receive the action to be functional in your generation rateria barade vregedisa rate bede gedos karina eshade gede viana ratosia paride berede razokote brecheta zegede vereto riskam parade regede beshete rima regede bezegedoria human power may fail might may fail but the power that comes as a result of living a consecrated life can never fail ratosa bregedia reketo zebe sheteriana rekete bregedoska may God give you an idea that shall not just benefit your generation but shall benefit generations to come for the singers that are here and that are represented here may God give you a song that shall not just be heard in your generation but shall be heard in generations to come receive something uh, that shall not just be of your benefit uh, and the benefit of our generation uh, but shall be of benefit uh, to generations to come uh, that shall be of a benefit uh, to our children uh, and our children's children regete bede gedoska ratoria parade regete bezivretea erando rokoporia paradeska eraparana eregedesa rambe dovina erende vredia ratoze Reketa, reshete bete keta, reshete bete keta, reshete bete keta, reshete bete keta, rakatos ke perena, eranto roko zevra, baradia parane, regete besheta, everia parane, regete bereto roska, ragadoska, ezete beshia, mande reketoria, let there be a release of a song that shall not be only sung in our generation, God. Bless a song in my spirit. Bless a song in my spirit. Bless a song in my spirit. Drop something in my life. Oh God, that shall benefit. Rados ke perena, erede vregedia, mande reketoria, berede brechete vrika, redo zempreketa, regedo zia parade, reketoria bereska. The Bible says that greater things shall we be able to do. Greater things things uh, shall we be able to do my father and my God uh, give us the action uh, oh Lord uh, to be able to do the things uh, greater things uh, that the one that Jesus says did uh, as the scripture states uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, Lord uh, drop something uh, in my spirit let there be a transformation uh, that can never be ignored uh, as the result of consecration, let there be something Rakata Bakataya, Regede Bregedaya, Recanto Rebregadaya, Shade Berevregedia, Reketoria, let there be a release, let there be a release. May God give you a summon that shall not just be heard in our generation, but shall be heard even in generations to come. Oh. Zekata bashataya, erakate rebe reketa, rando rosi brediva, eratoria parane, regete vere shepaya, zegete mashande vregedia. Lift your hand up and say, Father, drop something in my life that shall not just be of my benefit. I refuse to be. I, 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 refuse to, I refuse something that is not generational. Give me something that is generational. Make, help me to live a consecrated life. 
Zakash Ragada Zika Parade Vrita Raska Rimani Shitaya. Hey, oh God. Thank you, Lord. May God give you a song <laughs> that shall be listened. Over even hundred years to come if Jesus tarries. Lord, give us an idea that shall be of benefit to generations to come, even over hundred years to come, if you still tarry. And we declare. Because of our presence in this generation, there will be no blackout. There will be no blackout. Because we will carry a light that cannot be ignored. Hey, it's 7.05. Oh my God. That cannot be ignored. Bonus if you Can I tell you something? You know, the moment the light increases if uh, i don't know maybe this one is uh maybe one um, i don't know maybe 100 watts i don't know to say it is 100 watts that is why it can stay there do you know if we can multiply the watts is equal to so many 10,000 higher so the moment we increase the watts of the light it is like the sun it is far away because if it comes closer, it na tuchoma. So the moment your light increases, you are lifted more. Did you get that wrong? You are lifted more. May your light shine brighter and brighter in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will not be ignored in your generation. In the name of Jesus. We're going to make another prayer. So, uh, may come make uh, the last prayer. Finish for us with the word of prayer. And lead us in the words of the grace. And uh, let's see each other on uh, Friday. And uh, God is going to bless you. Come, let's learn about the urgency of concentration. It's going to be powerful. I'll be talking about Elisha. I'll be talking about Elijah, Elisha, Gehazi, and Jesus. So be blessed. Come and lead us in the word of prayer and lead us in the words of the grace. Let us bow our head for the, for the word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day, O oh Lord. I say thank you for everything, O oh Lord. I say thank you for the gift of life and for the gift of health, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, whatever we have been told, O oh Lord, may you, make, may you write it into our hearts, O oh Lord. Let it stay into our hearts, O oh Lord. And it is in Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever.